All right, time for something heavy outside our Beacon Hill studio. Cosmo Macero of O'Neill and Associates. What was the Easter candy that did you win over the weekend? You know, it's easy to push away from the peeps and the circus peanuts. I'm not interested, but those little Cadbury mini eggs, those take me down every time. They do get you every peanut catches, yeah. formerly of the Boston Phoenix. What did you win? I'm I'm with I'm with Cosmo. It's the mini eggs. They're, they're my down. They're like M&M's on, uh, on uh, human growth hormone, you know? And M&M's for adults. <laughs> I like those black jelly beans myself. I know I'm in the minority on that, but nonetheless, I enjoyed them over the weekend. So with that being said, gentlemen, several issues to talk about. Number one is we're all Bostonians here, and apparently we're going to have a mayor race it's getting hot and heavy Dan Conley apparently going to announce that he is in tomorrow this thing could be very interesting Cosmo um, absolutely you know he's immediately uh, a significant candidate in this Dan Conley has great respect in the neighborhoods in the communities in the minority community he's also got kind of funny to say for a DA not afraid to be anti-establishment. He's taken on uh, Judge Raymond Dugan, who's made many poor decisions. Not afraid to take on the legal establishment when he thinks that justice is not He's being served. He's taken on the police commissioner of Boston occasionally. Yeah, so it, it's kind of kind of nice to see that uh, anti-establishment streak in an otherwise very establishment role as district attorney. On the other hand, is the city going right back to the Irish candidate, Peter? Well, it is an off-year election, and in these off-year election, non-presidential year elections, uh, so-called old Boston, older white voters, uh, neighborhood-oriented voters, they vote, and so-called new Bostonians, you know, uh, young people who stayed over from college, immigrants, African Americans, they tend not to vote in the same numbers. So Conley, uh, Dan Conley, that is, enters the race, I think, as the putative uh, front runner. Then there's uh, also expect any day, you know, Marty Walsh, uh, the state senator and union leader, uh, to, to, to announce. Uh, I, I've talked to a bunch of Boston city councilors, and an awful lot I of them are, con in. well, they, a lot of them are considering it. Yeah, does any quickly does any either of you oppose to term limits for the mayor now that Menino is out of there shouldn't we get two terms is enough I've never been a fan of term limits for anything uh, period I don't know what I mean during the Menino you know uh, mayoral run I'm not sure if there's anything in there other than the, the fact that it was so long to suggest we need term limits but um, you know the, the, the mix of candidates is going to be interesting you got city councilors maybe some Business leadership figure emerges at some point also, but uh, Conley, a strong, strong contender. Quickly, let's go international. We got a warship off the coast of North Korea. Yeah. Are you guys laughing at this story, or are you actually concerned? My favorite part is the headline is actually White House moves to ease tensions with North Korea, so we move a battleship, so we move a, uh, a battleship off the coast, which is, uh, I guess that's a way to ease tensions. Well, I, I, I mean, there, the situation with North Korea does have all the earmarks of a Saturday Night Live skit, let's face it. But you wonder not so much about the supreme leader, the, the, the basketball-loving midget that runs North Korea. You wonder about one of the underlings, you know, does he get an itchy finger? Does, is there an unplanned incident? Um, what astounds me is the, that uh, Red China, that the Chinese, who are, are, are clearly the big boys in the region, let him get away with this. I think that says that China likes the fact that North Korea is tweaking the United States. Peter